I thought I would sell my family's financial woes and worries by becoming a great Iditarod champion and making it big time. This is me getting ready for um, the 2002 Iditarod. I've run 18 of these epic thousand milers. And, um, How many? 18. I love it. I love the dogs, you know. I enjoy perfection and accomplishing a goal. I did a rod, that's, that's what it's about. You have a history here, a, a very long history, uh, put in some pretty good times. You undoubtedly have what it takes to be a champion. such a fine line. You put so much effort in, in the whole year and one thing could just change his course so quickly. Every turn I made there was a struggle or a fight. This was like starting out as one of the toughest years I ever dealt with. I was I was going along driving the team. I was drowsy you know I was trying to stay awake and I was like I kept drifting off and I was like ah, this is the first night what's going on. Next thing I know boom I am down in the snow on my butt and I'm like, oh my God, this is a nightmare. In 10 days, you might have only had six or eight hours of cumulative sleep. And um, so you're hallucinated out there and you really have to have a strong grip on your own mind. That's scary to me. You know, scary isn't like a, a big hill or the storms or more the emotional part of it to me is scary. I thought the whole race is over right here. You know, I've, I've spent every last dime. I, I earned and a lot of other people's money too. You were back in like 40th place or 40 some position or something maybe, right? Yeah, probably so. <laughs> <laughs> that had to be one of the best second half races in the history of this thing. Well, I never try to dwell on what could have been or, or what not. I just, um, I feel very, very lucky to have been a part of a team of dogs that was willing to put their heart and soul into it and have them perform so amazingly. Do you trust your dogs? Oh, life and death type trust, absolutely. And they trust you? Absolutely. Well, you have to have a really strong bond with the dogs and they have to trust you and you have to trust them. Sometimes the weather's so bad you can't even see your leaders. And you have to have faith that they're gonna follow the trail and take care of you and the team. What keeps you pushing forward? Well, I have a family that needs taken care of and I have a lot of friends who have helped get me on the trail and so giving up is never an option. Well, I feel really honored to have been able to place second, third, but um, I'm out there to win and so it's not adequate for me. What do you think about next year? Are you thinking about it already? Yeah, I think about it every day. Um, I think about next year and how I'd like to win. You know, at first I have to pull the finances together. That's why I build log homes and why my wife and I scrape all of our pennies and nickels together to try to put in a championship run. And um, so I'm already trying to make plans and make adjustments on my strategy and think about how I can do it better next time. <laughs>